He moved into his rigid stance, legs spread wide and straight, his arms reaching way out from his body, the club head a foot behind the ball. He took one peek at the distant green, swung with trademark haste, and watched his drive rifle down the center of the fairway, perfectly straight, every shot the same, every time. This is the Westmount Golf and Country Club at Kitchener, Waterloo, Ontario. At this time every year, the big question is always the same. Who, four days from now, will have added his name to the impressive list of former Seagram Gold Cup winners? Who will be three amateurs from Canada and the United States who will be giving it a try? The defending champion, Doug Sanders, was the first amateur ever to win the Canadian Open. Ken Venturi of San Francisco, a man to watch in any championship, according to Ben Hogan. Always a respected contender is Arnold Palmer of Latrobe, Pennsylvania, Canadian Open champion of 1955. Then there are two lads who will have their own rooting section in this tourney. They're the hometown boys, Jerry Kesselring and Mo Norman. Both are from the Twin Cities and know this course by heart. Mo, who has been compared with the great Walter Hagen for color, fired a practice round 68. Canadian amateur champion for the last two years, Mo turned pro last spring. No one knows how good he may become. Mo Norman is golf's unsung hero. His incredible record includes 54 victories in tournaments two days or longer, including two Canadian amateur championships. 33 course records, three at 59, four others at 61. He calls a hole-in-one a fluke. He's hit at least 17. And he's a member of the Canadian Golf Hall of Fame. Mo played the game of golf, not caring what anyone thought or what convention dictated. There were no musts, absolutes, do's or don'ts. He developed his unique golf swing by listening to his body. It was a swing that earned him recognition as the greatest ball striker that ever lived. In addition to this repeatable swing, Mo also developed a consistent mental approach to the game. He believes that determination and a positive attitude are powerful forces in golf and in life. Whatever else Mo Norman is, shy, eccentric, unorthodox, he is an undeniable golf genius. Here is the best of Mo Norman as he shares his perspective, his insight, his unconventional wisdom, and his love for the game. Heck, I learned, I learned it. Where? I learned it back home. Oh, I wasn't born with it. Oh, brother. I stood out there in the rain and everything. People say, look at the dumb bugger out there in the rain. Look at I could take my shirt and rinse it. Blood coming down my hands, hitting six and 800 balls a day. I went through it, don't tell me. I slept in park benches, I slept in bunkers, hitchhiked to tournaments, shot 61, went home. <laughs> Don't tell me, I went through it. My mother and dad never let me bring my clubs in the house. I, I walked out of the house when I was 17, because I wanted, they should, my mother and dad wanted me to live like the other five kids. I didn't like that kind of life, w wife and kids and go to work and work for somebody else all my life. No, I wanted to work for myself. And the only thing I could see, a small guy, was become a great ball striker and a pretty good player. And I did. That's all I thought of. Morning, noon, and night. And here I am. Read the best ball striker that's ever lived. Boy, what a great feeling. And money can't buy it. That's what I like. Well, yeah. I went to this carpenter and I asked this carpenter, mm -hmm. where do you, oh, have you, first of all, asked him how, don't think I'm trying to get your job because I'm not. Mm -hmm. Dang, I was only 18. And I said to him, what's your hammer, heavy or light? And he said, heavy. I said, why? Because it won't waver as much, or it won't bend as many nails, he said. Mm -hmm. Geez, I stood there and said to myself, here he's only going, here's the, the, the nail, he's only going this far to hit a nail, and he wants something heavy. We're going back to here. Now, what the heck? And his club won't waver, and that's one thing you don't want in golf, is your club wavering. Mm -hmm. Geez, i got to get heavy clubs and big handles. Never, never in the fingers. Yeah. Right in the palm. Mm-hmm. Now look. Same. Fingers are alive, palms are dead. Okay, yeah. All right. Look how fast you can move your fingers. Look at the palm stays dead still. Look, look, look. Yeah. Look. But look at the fingers. Look. All different angles. Look. That's what the golf swing does. Look. 87% of this game is knowing what it's all about. And the main thing is knowledge. The rest is insight. To me, a good golfer is one who can hit the ball to a defined target area with the least amount of effort but with an alert attitude of indifference. 
A person must first change his mental attitude. Then, and only then, will his ability produce positive results. This game of golf either requires an art or a knack of flinging a golf ball to a defined target area. The fascinating thing about this game is it takes a keen, sharp mind, as well as good physical makeup to excel. Knowledge of the game is the equalizer that eludes the men who strive for excellence. Not talent, no, knowledge, no, knowledge. It doesn't make any difference whether you're writing, typing, playing a piano, or playing a game such as golf. The computer of our brain sends out messages through our nerves to our golf muscles to help produce a shot. This of course means your heart and soul, plus your own personal character, are part of everything, you, every shot you make. People in this game need an inner awakening. They need a more understanding of their own self and their own game. Here they are trying to help somebody else and they don't know how to help their own self. Now who are they kidding? We're taught too much mechanics, not enough about motor skills and manual dexterity and imagination and orientation, administration, enthusiasm, alert attitude of indifference or a strong discipline response or progression of power, expansion of the circle, the deltoid muscle on your left shoulder, the torso of your legs, elasticity of your body, the axis of your spine, your left brain, your right brain, your kinesthetic mind, your body mind. All this has something to do with golf. This is the way winners think. I like, to, I like talking about how we think as winners, mm -hmm. that we see what we want to happen. Losers see what they don't want. And uh, we know how to dress ourselves up. We're, when we go to, from the practice tee to the first tee, winners take their swing with them. Losers don't. They can't take their practice swing to the first tee. And what's the longest walk in golf? It's from the practice tee to the first tee. I don't care if it's only 10 yards. That's the longest walk in golf. People's minds are racing too much. They're always racing. They don't know how to relax. They don't know how to take the good with the bad. I have a little robot that goes around with me. I tell it what I'm thinking. I tell it what I see. I tell my little robot all my hopes and fears. It listens and remembers everything it hears. At first my little robot followed my command, but after years of training, it's gotten out of hand. It doesn't care what's right or wrong, or what is false or true, but no matter what I try now, it tells me what to do. <laughs> and that's your five and a half inches you got. Let me tell you, it tells me what to do every day I wake up. What about every time I have teed up the ball, I said, what have I got to lose? A lousy golf ball. What, what else? If I lose it, go get another one, get it. But this, this is what the game lacks today, is, is the inward part, because we're not taught that. I'm from Canada, and we've n never had a school yet in my 50 years of playing, or anybody come up there and talk about how to win, how to be yourself, how to believe in yourself. It's always this guy dang hope and fear, hope and fear. And it just drives me nuts. That's all people live with. Because people don't use more than 3% of their mind. And uh, what a terrible thing to waste between those ears, I'll tell you. That five and a half inches you got right between those ears. That's what you win with. That makes half a million dollars a year. This, still, this can't make a half a million. Your dumb muscles can't make a half a million a year. This can make more than that. That's because your mind's a generator. Your body's a motor. Your club face is a trigger, and the golf ball is a bullet. Now aim and fire. We aim, but we don't fire. We direct. Losers direct their emotions. Losers live that way every day in life. They're directing themselves down the highway, down the road, wherever they're going in through stores or in this and that. They're directing themselves. They're stumbling over their own emotions. Their minds are in their way. See, they don't know how to get out of their own way. How to get along with yourself? Stop being afraid of yourself? Don't say, don't say I gotta do anything in life. There's nothing in this world you gotta do. You don't have to go to bed tonight. You don't have to go out that door tonight. But I want to. People always say I gotta do things. There's nothing you gotta do. I wanna do it. Tomorrow I wanna shoot 65. I don't got to. Tomorrow I wanna hit the ball good. I don't got to. I'll play the next day if I don't. But I wanna do things. I wanna spend a dollar. That's what it's for. Everybody in here's got a hundred dollar bill in their pocket. What are they thinking? Hope it don't go to ninety nine. What's a smart person thinking? 102, 104, 106. How to make it more? Winners look up, losers look down. But get that mind ripe, even in life. Get that mind ripe. Like I say, this can't make 
half a million years later. It's getting, that's peanuts. If you got <laughs> leadership, if you got poise, if you got composure, if you got mentality, oh man, Whew. what strong things have instead of hope and fear, lack of lack of awareness and lack of this and that. That's what people got because they're afraid of their own self. It's unbelievable. Oh, people are afraid of their own self. They're they're afraid of success. What a sad world we're in when people are afraid of success. Oh, and they are. People are afraid to win. I know for a fact. I know a lot of my boyfriends are afraid to win. But every time I tee it up, I want to shoot another course record. And I shot 41 of them in my life. But I gave myself a chance. I gave myself a chance. And I was, a, I was the happiest winner in Canada. I was the happiest. I always got along with myself real good. Touch wood, I've never been to a doctor in my life. I've never had a sore throat, I've never had a headache, i never had a earache, i never had a toothache in my whole life. i never walked through a doctor's door in my life and I'm 65 years old. Might, might go tomorrow, but these 65 years I haven't. Because I get along with myself. I believed in Mo Norman. I didn't listen to every Tom, Dick and Harry, and I still don't today. Because people don't know what they're talking about. They only think they do. They only use 3% of their mind. Man, that's a long way from 100, mister. That's a lot of room for improvement. No wonder they say, I miss golf shop, I never hurt my golf swing, only my vanity. And vanity is luxury of fools. Oh boy, and how true. The best statement I ever heard in my life. And how true. Positive self expectancy, positive self awareness, positive self esteem, positive self image, positive self projection. All this I got in me now that I can know when to put it to work. Believing in myself, knowing how to put the club on the ball the same way every time, like I can do. And uh, freedom of freedom of motion, freedom freedom with my mind. That I only see the good things in life. I don't see the bad things. All I see is good things. That's what winners see. That's all VJ saw last week, was good things. The other some of the others saw bad things. And wherever you tell your mind to go, that's where you go. Mine always told me to go down the middle of the fairway. There's no thorn bushes there. Nice and balmy. Nice and balmy in the middle of the fairway. And I proved it. Hope I don't go out of bounds. Hope I can carry the water. <laughs> we never think like that. We think of the middle of the fairway. And the hole on the green. Knock the iron shot in the hole. No defensive attitudes in winners. Just aggressive. No defensive attitudes. Biggest, def biggest defe defeating thing in this game is a defensive attitude. I'm 300 par down with four holes to go. Hope I hold on. Hope I hold on. What do the good players say? Birdie the last four. Shoot 65, not 69. And they do. <laughs> oh yeah, and they do. Think of the good thing again. Think of your good thing. What, what got you this, to this hole? Now keep it. If you're two, three, four under. Now what, what did I do today to get that? So I can do it again tomorrow. But people think all the bad things. So bad things bring more bad things. Sure. You can't believe what one win can do to you mentally. It's unbelievable when you win your first one. It's always the toughest one to win, that first one. When I won my first Canadian Amateur, oh boy, what a way, and away from home, 2,000 miles away, proving I was, to myself I wasn't just a hometown player. I won my two term, biggest tournaments away from home to know that I didn't get lonely to myself or blah, blah, blah. Didn't let the other people bother me. Just went out and put the ball in the hole and won. In a nice, simple, realistic way. Users live in classic style in a never land called Someday Isle. They blame bad luck each time they lose and hide with sickness, drugs, and booze. Winners live each day as if they're last, not in the future, nor in the past. And it someday becomes now. That's the way we live. Now. You're here today, live. You might not be here tomorrow. Live, you're here today. What is golf? What is golf? People do. It's a mind game. It's a conflict of your conscious and your subconscious. With your body as a battleground. What is golf? Is it a mental game? I'd say yes. If you play with an alert attitude of indifference. But what do we play with? Open fear. 
What is golf? The most demanding mind game ever put on the face of this earth. The tantalized man. Oh, yeah. And that's what you win with. Your management, not your golf swing. You just saw VJ yesterday. He won with his management. I'll tell you that. Makes it hits in the water on 11. Didn't, didn't, didn't disturb him a bit. Goes on the next hole, makes. <laughs> frame of mind, people. Frame of mind. Oh, so important in life, not just in golf. This frame of mind. You gotta know what makes you tick, people. You gotta. Only you know what makes him tick doesn't make him tick. People all say, well, I wish if I did this, if I'd have done that way, if I'd if I'd if I'd if I'd have, if I'd have. Uh. <laughs> Come on, world, wake up. Let's wake up. People are a mystery to themselves and always will be. You are what you think you are. If you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. You want to win but think you can't. It's almost certain that you won't. If you think you lose, you're lost. For all this world you find. Success begins in a fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. You gotta think high to rise. You gotta feel sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life battles don't always go to the stronger, faster man. But the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. We all got him at our club. We all got him at our force and our group. They got no business playing as good as they do. They got no business winning the way they do, but they do because they think they can. So the only way you're gonna play golf up to your true physical potential is by playing subconscious go. And now you got the tools, you need to do it. Thanks for coming. If people only knew what happiness was. What is happiness? Happiness is achievement. What's the father of achievement? Motivation. What's the mother? Encouragement. The fine golf swing is truly achievement. Man may lie, cheat and steal for gain. These will never gain the golf swing. To gain the golf swing, man must work. It's work without toil. It's intoxication without the hangover. It's stimulation without the pills. It's defeating, yet it generates courage. It is humbling, yet it ennobles the human spirit. It is dignity, yet it rejects the ruins. Its price is high, yet its rewards are richer. Some say it's a boy's pastime, yet it builds men. It's a buffer for the stresses of today's living. It cleanses the mind, rejuvenates the body. There's these things and many more for those of us who know to love it. Golf is truly happiness. Only one guy in the world. What a nice thing I take to bed with me every night. I'm the only one right. Fifty million are wrong. Boy, what a nice feeling. And I'll prove it too. I won't only say it. And I'll go tomorrow and prove it. I'll show you how easy it is to hit a golf ball. Pure and straight. Every time. Or 99 times out of 100. Nothing was in my way but happiness. All I saw was happiness. My two Canadian amateurs, my two PGAs, that's all I saw. That's all I felt was happiness. Yep, all I saw was happiness. The, ha the happier you are, the better you can eat, the better you can drink, the better you can sleep, the better you can drive a car when you're happy than you can when you're sad. Watch the people that walk off the 18th green that didn't play good, their heads Looking down there. Look at the winner. Winners look up. Losers look down. Oh, just as plain as that. Nice to be the best in the world at something. I'm glad I did. By hard work, not <laughs> by hard work and burning desire and a great attitude. Boy, oh, I've hit over five million balls. These pair of hands. Best pair of hands ever on a golf stick. Look at them. If I'm the only person with a 365 day of the year swing, everybody else is 300. The other 65 days, it's the army song. Mm -hmm. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Mine is just straight down the middle, straight down the middle. You put nothing, you put nothing in, you get nothing out. Let's face it. You put garbage in today, you get garbage out tomorrow. I'll tell you that. G-I-T equals G-O-T. You put garbage in today, you get garbage out tomorrow. <laughs> but you can become what you think about people. That's what you become. Whatever you think about. Do you have a feeling you should be a better player than you are? Are you finding serenity and peace of mind playing this game? Last but not least, above all, give this some thought. 
Is there more to this game than just the mechanics? Is there more to this game that you haven't yet discovered? If there wasn't, then how come nearly 90% of the people are all in the same boat? They can't even bust an egg, let alone play a respectable game of golf. But why? It's their anguish for so many poor shots and high scores that infuriates them to no end. No wonder they become basket, case, basket cases. The left brain's going to the north, the right's going south, the other's going east, and the other's going west. Boy, that's a lot of territory to cover before you hit a shot. But that's the way people, how they look at things. They all look at everything with a prayer. No. <laughs> Golf is truly happiness. Better than being in jail. I know a lot of guys are in jail looking through those bars. We'd love to be on that green fairway. And what do we do when we get on the green fairway? We put ourselves in jail. <laughs> oh, throwing clubs and calling ourselves a dumb... Oh. Every time we miss a two foot punch, you dumb... <laughs> Instead of patting ourselves in the back, we kick ourselves in the ass. We always downgrade ourselves. We always downgrade ourselves. We never pat ourselves. We're always downgrading, making ourselves feel worse. Try to enjoy more things in life. That's what I'm doing now. My life has changed so much in the 30, last 30 years. I enjoy more things now because I only see good things. I don't see bad things any, anymore. Then the more good things you see, the more of them that come to you. The more of the good things will follow you. Instead of you going to get them, they come to you. This is what I'm feeling now. Everything felt light. Uh, I can see the lines on my putts better that day. And, and I felt, biggest thing, I felt it in the hole before I even hit it. That was the greatest feeling. I could feel this ball, I could feel it was in the hole already, and I even hit it. The putt, that day, that day when I shot 59, that's the way I felt. But everything felt light. What a different feeling. What a wonderful feeling. And this, <laughs> that's hard to get back. Everything felt easy. Everything, everything was gelling. I could see, I could see my, from the tee to the green, I could see, I could see my ball in the hole before I even got there. I could see the birdie, or my eagle, before I even played the hole. That my mind could just see like a wire, and then my ball was right down the wire. Like every fairway, I could just see that wire, and every putt felt like that straight wire. A little tiny thin wire, and my ball st stuck right on it. Let your mind shape the shot, because your mind works in pictures, not in words. See, that's the way your mind works. Tunnel vision. Get that tunnel vision. That's what I felt that day when I shot 59. Oh, what tunnel vision I had. Oh, jeez, just wonderful. Just, oh, just, <laughs> jeez, just a wonderful feeling. Every shot feels pure and simple. Every shot feels pure and simple. Boy, what more can you ask for? I'm the only golfer with a feeling of greatness. I'm the only golfer with the master move. I'm the only golfer that's got emotion within emotion. Yeah. I'm the only golfer that's got this stuff. Especially the feeling of greatness. Oh, man. I'm lucky. I can give a talent. I can show it. I can explain it. I can tell it. I can show it to people, which is what I love doing. I just loved it. Tomorrow I got another clinic tomorrow. Place I've never been in my life. Here they're phoning me. Place I've never been. I can't wait to get there tomorrow. Show 120 kids to hit the ball like me someday. I hope one, I hope one of them does. I like to go up to the same when I'm 90 years old. Hey son, I'm, gra I'm your grandpa. Mm -hmm. I talked to you in 1995 and now you're doing what I taught. Jeez, what's, what a great thing. But believe in the truth, people. Believe in the truth. The truth shall make you free. Where your attention is, there you are. What your attention is upon, you become. Yep. I'm gonna fly from my cocoon and put my footsteps on the moon. All I ever hoped to be was free to be that person me. That's the way I live. Free to be me. Oh, is it ever nice. No worries, no, no headaches. Hit a golf ball dead straight every time and pure. Oh, what, what a nice life, people. Oh, what, money can't buy, that's what I like. Two things money can't buy. Knowledge and talent. I got both. Oh, what a great feeling. Oh, I did something nobody else can do. What a great thing in life, people. 
do something that nobody else can do. Nobody can take away my job. Nobody. What a great world. Because I'm the only one that can do it. Hit the ball where I'm looking. 99 times out of 100. Jeez, what a great feeling. That you can't be replaced. Mo Norman is quite simply the best ball striker in the game. He is the first natural golfer and a testament to the validity of the method. In his seventh decade, he continues to make golf shots on a dead straight target. 87% of this game is knowing what it's all about. And the main thing is knowledge. The rest is insight.
Also from Pipeline Productions, complete your set of the Mo Norman series with Mo Norman The Short Game, a one-on-one -on -one presentation of short game techniques with Mo Norman and golf professional Todd Graves. It's strictly, it's strictly feel. That's all this shot is. I'm going to feel it to the hole. I felt, I felt it to the hole. And the Mo Norman Clinic, a full instructional clinic with Mo Norman, including basic fundamentals and in-depth swing analysis. Gone with the wind. My favorite song, Gone with the wind. These additional videos are available separately, or get all three at a reduced price in the Mo Norman Collector Series. To order and find out more about the natural golf clubs that Mo plays with, call 888-NAT-GOLF or visit our website at naturalgolf.com.